Hey hey and welcome back to another quick tip video where I will show you how to get this broken planks effect fully procedurally. So you can see even if we copy this plank over a bunch of times you can see that the breaking pattern does not really tile but still looks like it's a part of one big thing that just broke those planks together. And it's actually very simple so it shouldn't take us too long. So let's see how it's done. And as a bonus I will also show you how to avoid tiling where you have materials such as planks where they share one texture but they still look different one from another. So let's start with a fresh blender scene delete everything and add a cube. Now form a plank out of it. So just scale it on the Z axis and the X axis until you're satisfied with the shape of your plank. Now let's add a support edges on the X axis so that when we subdivide this mesh to have more vertices to work with, we will maintain the plank shape. So two more edges in here, scale it up to have something similar to this. You can add a subdivision surface modifier to see how it looks like so even with the subdivision modifier applied it still looks sort of like plank now in the edit mode select this front face that you want to be shattered select all those vertices go to object data properties click plus to add a new vertex group and assign the selected vertices now we can go to the modifier tab and add a displace modifier here we can already exit the edit mode and click new to add a new displace texture now let's name it big scale detail and go into the texture tab and choose clouds now change size to something bigger maybe like 1.6 6, 1.7 and back in the modifiers tab make it so it is only affecting the vertex group that we just created and also the direction change from normal to x and the space local so that it's only gonna affect the selected previously vertices and it's gonna displace them only on the x axis all right this looking good now add another modifier again it's gonna be displace and change the name to small scale detail now go into the textures tab and make sure that we are changing the small scale not the big scale so go up here in the drop down list and choose the display 001 small scale detail. Now we can leave it as clouds but let's change the size to something much much smaller. So something like 0.2 and you can already sort of see what's happening. So now let's go back to the modifier tab and again the same thing. Change the vertex group to the one that we created and then the direction also stays at X. Now what you also want to change is the coordinates from local to global in both of the displays modifiers. And there it is. Now if you copy over this plank right next to each other and just copy bunch of them you can see that the breaking pattern is all different on different planks and in order to control all that you can just select all of them make sure to have one selected as active so with the brighter orange outline and now as you hold alt and change the values in the modifiers tab you can see it's affecting all the selected planks so i like to keep the big scale detail at something like two and then the small scale detail a little bit lower maybe like 0.8 and as for the materials let's drag in a shader editor click on one of the planks and add new material we can leave the principled bsdf and you can get your planks material from whatever i got mine from polyheaven so you can just go up here and download something that you need it's a great database of things that you can use for free so highly recommend that and when you finally download your textures you can just drag and drop them in your shader editor i will just use color map and roughness but you can create the proper material with the normals and displacement but that's just not part of the tutorial now let's go to the material preview so select all the planks go to object link transfer data and the link materials so that they will all have applied the same material and as you can see the first problem is that it's tiling very badly and it just stretched all over the place so let's add a texture coordinates and also a mapping node and let's connect the texture coordinates generated into the mapping input vector and the mapping output goes into the textures input vector as well now we can start by rotating this plank so they are actually aligned correctly so let's go to the z rotation and rotate it by 90 degree and now let's play with the scale a little bit so that it's reasonable maybe something like this and now to fix the problem with tiling we will simply need a value node a object info node and a math node now plug object info random and the value to this math node you can leave it at add it's fine and now what we want to do is we want to basically offset each object by a random value where this object info comes from on the location x-axis so you can see that we can scroll along the texture but we want it to be scrolled differently for each plank so simply add a combine xyz you can leave y and z at zero and then the math node output goes into x and the combine xyz vector goes to the location and just like that each of this plank looks different and if you don't like how it turned out then you can always change this value or alternatively you can change it to multiply and then as you change the value then each of the plank will actually scroll at a different rate so now one problem that you may notice is that these stretched parts look really weird and that is because the texture coordinates were generated when we created the cube and now after we stretched it we are basically stretching the texture coordinates as well and in order to fix that we have to do a couple of things 
First of all, let's change the texture coordinates from generated to object, which also alters how the plank texture looks like. And now we can select all of the planks, click Control A, and then reset rotation and scale. And as you can see, it changed basically everything because now we applied the scale and the rotation to the mesh. So we will have to adjust the displays all over again, as well as the textures. So for texture, it's super easy. You just go to the mapping node and bring down the scale again until it looks presentable. So something like this, and it's done. And as for the modifiers, you just select all the blanks, make sure one of them is actively selected. And again, while holding Alt, change the strength for the big details and then the same goes with the small details with all you can change how much is applied if you want the planks to have more splinters and more jagged edges simply change the subdivision levels in the subdivision modifier with alt again to get more detailed result we can also apply shade smooth to make it look a little bit nicer so that is it for the tutorial you can copy the planks and they all follow the same pattern of destruction. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something useful. If you did and plan to use it in one of your projects, then make sure to tag me on Twitter when you're finished. I would love to see your creation. Link for that is in the description. And I'll see you.